Sir, what about uh, the statement that you just uh, said uh, that if it's in implemented, then tourism is going to be hit very badly? Can yes, you? it has already happened. If you can ask the tourism operators in Shillong, I have seen it in Sora. Sora is a small place, so it is much easier to see it over there. Uh, I went there on Sunday, a whole lot of tourism facilities like hotels and homestays were going vacant. I had interaction with a few people here and there. They all said it is uh, tourism has taken a hit. So you, you mentioned about the protests. Is it the anti-CAA or the pro-ILB protests that is affecting tourism in me? No, no, and the CPMA or um, uh, CAA has got nothing to do with it. CAA refers to what? CAA refers to conferring citizenship on people who had come from certain other countries before 2014. So what has that got to do with Meghalaya population? It has got nothing. But if you put restrictions on the coming of tourists, on the, after all, tourism uh, in Meghalaya will not be Meghalaya citizens. It will be Indian citizens from elsewhere. So if you put restrictions on Indian citizens from other states from entering into Meghalaya, make it difficult for them to come, then it is not very difficult to guess what the outcome is going to be. So we are definitely talking about ILP, ILP here, right? Now, it uh, is for the elected government to decide this. It is not for me to decide.